Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, September 8th, 2009. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Labor Day extended weekend here as we get back to the trading forum on this Tuesday midday to early afternoon. Now, a couple things we need to discuss. First of all, we're seeing this market trading slightly to the upside, ever so slightly, and we are off the highs of the day. In fact, we are making a little bit of a bearish pattern right now. We'll see if it plays out later today with a little bit of a sell-off. The one thing that bothers me right now is the volume is minuscule, and I mean that, folks. You know, we talked on Friday about how there was a strong possibility of seeing an extended kind of hangover effect on Tuesday following the Monday vacation, and that seems to be exactly what we're seeing right now. The volume right now, 75 million on the spiders, is just nothing right now, folks. And you have to be able to give the market a neutral to positive bias, and that really is where we're seeing the market today. The Dow is up 32 points, the Nasdaq up 11, and the S&P 500 up about 6.5. So that's exactly what we're seeing, this minorly positive market today. Now, the interesting thing about today, we're starting to see a little bit of an interesting factor come into play, and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at here. Number one, what I, th I find fascinating, folks, is the fact that early on the market gapped up, and it gapped right into some resistance at 103, even number resistance right there. And from that point, we sold off. Now, the key is this. ExxonMobil and Goldman Sachs and the dollar were getting crushed uh, excuse me, the dollar was getting crushed while well, Exxon and Mobil ripped higher and Goldman Sachs ripped higher. And this market, even on this rally here, could not take out the highs of the day. So I did find that kind of interesting, to be honest, as the market kind of didn't make new highs even with Exxon and Goldman. I want to show you the charts of Goldman. Look at this move on Goldman Sachs here, folks. You see how that, for the first hour to two hours of the day, went straight up? And then also, look at that. So really, from the opening bell, you opened right here today on Goldman, and from there, you went straight up. So take, keep that in mind, all right? I want you to remember that pattern. In addition, look at ExxonMobil here. ExxonMobil opens right here and goes like that. All right, so straight up for two hours. Now, the interesting thing about the markets are, when I go back to the SPY intraday, we actually sold early on and then rallied back on the strength in Exxon and Goldman. But the thing is, you only went back to the highs of the day at 103. You weren't able to take them out. And I think that's something we need to watch. And sure enough, guys, I just want to point this out. I just literally said, and I, this is just to show you the expertise that we have in the chat room for on a play-by-play -play basis as we're using the, utilizing kind of the chat forum and video for all our chat members to give them play-by-play. -play. This is exactly what we saw a little bit of a bearish flag pattern forming and look at this market ticking down all right granted the volume is streaming late but the pattern is starting to play out here anyways and we want to keep that focused and watch that for the rest of the day i think that's very very interesting to watch but in any case i think it's very fascinating to watch the market sell off when exxon and goldman are ripping higher like they are and then even when we go back up you only go to the highs of the day you can't break out above 103 then you pull back to the 20 and back to this 102.50 level so your resistances are as follows and supports all right i'm going to give you guys these these are massive Master levels to watch on an intraday basis. If you want the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the 60-minute charts, you got to join the research center. We'll give you that all in there. But right now, what you want to focus on is this: support 102.50. If you break that 102.50, folks, you're going to go to the 50 moving average. Right now, that sits at about 102 and a quarter, 102.20. If you take that out, then you're going to 102 even number, which is gap fill. Those are your levels on the downside of support. So again, 102.50, 102 and a quarter, and 102 right down. On the upside, if you start to make a move up, the big level you're going to watch is the triple top or double top right up here at 103. Those are your main levels to watch, folks. Watch them closely. They are a big deal. Again, watch this market. The dollar was an interesting play today. The dollar really gapping lower on the back of some major kind of global worries about the dollar, talking about from major institutions on a global basis about the dollar needing to be diversified away as a reserve currency into something else, and that struck the dollar hard today. And you saw the dollar rip lower. The market's obviously getting an initial gap up on that. But look at this. Even though the dollar's trading relatively near the lows of the day, the market at the same time on the SPY is still trading on the a uh, general kind of weak level. Now, granted, the markets are still up. As you can see, here's gap fill down here. But look at us come in here towards this 102.50. And this is support, folks. Just called that out. You were there to witness it all. Bear flag pattern. What happens? We move right down and fall down. Where do we go? Right to support here at 102.50. That's where we are. And again, that's just showing you exactly what we're able to call based on our techniques, our talents, our expertise, based on, based on being chief market strategists for years and traders for years. I've been a day trader for literally 10, 20 years at this point. Monsters 
purchase amounts, folks. So continue to watch that. We'll continue to watch as this market plays out, see how it plays out. Now, again, looking at this chart, resistance level right up here at 103, that's going to be your spot to watch. Now, as I mentioned earlier, guys, the GLD, we had gold over 1,000 today, but it has come all the way back in and is now basically flat on the day. So gold is basically flat on the day. The oil front, huge move in oil today. Dollar is very, very weak. That's giving extra power to oil. The USO is up $1.75 today, and you are seeing uh, spot crude up about $3 to $3.50. That's a big-time move back above 70 In addition, then, if you want to take a look again, let's go back to Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, nice little pop. I showed you that early. Then came all the way back in, then chopped up again, and then is starting to come in again as the market comes in. I just pointed that out to you guys. Exxon Mobil, last but not least, nice little push up early and has just continued to fade all day long here. Now, whether or not it gets a buy program later in the day, we'll have to see if these buy programs come in today. In any case, you are talking about us being back from the vacation. Now, you have a light volume day expected today. That's exactly what we're seeing in the markets. Non-existent volume, especially midday now. That should pick up a little into the close. And then once tomorrow comes, folks, we should have some more volume in this market. That'll be a more true tale about where this market is going overall. Look at this move down on the spike folks right to 102.50 hitting that dotted trend line that's our major support line mentioned that to everyone this morning on the blog the free ransom rave blog we had those posts out there alerting you to the levels the highs and the lows we picked them even before they got there in this market and have continued to ping pong in between those levels as you can see right here if this closes below this dotted line folks again watch the 50 moving average and then below that watch 102 those are your major levels you got to be aware of them here folks this is going to be a big afternoon uh, if we get any volume if it's going to continue to be light volume then you want to be a little on caution as opposed to you know being ready to see the market come in a little bit here now again nice pullback that's a perfect bear flag pattern in spirit of bear flag watch this down move right here two red candles then inside bars inside that down move inside bars right along the 20 hugging the 20 and then a collapse down here and that's exactly what you look for in this pattern recognition phase all right remember we focus on price pattern and time if you can utilize those you don't need stochastics you don't need rsi and you don't need macd that doesn't matter I'm telling you right now, I've done this for years and years based off the factors that I've had more profitable than 99% of the traders out there or longer term of swing trade investors out there by far, folks. Unbelievable stuff. Come join the Research Center. Come join the chat room. We hope to see you soon, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.